And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, do you hear this? People think that faith, well, I gotta have this great faith. Listen to this. I have all faith so that I could remove mountains. And I have not charity. What does the Bible say? I am nothing. Nothing. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity, charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself, is not pumped up, puffed up, doth not behave itself, unseemingly seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil. Wow. I missed the mark. Big time. You guys know I have a hard time driving, even up Route 1, because people are all in the left lane, going, moping around. <laughs> and I swear I want to have a 60-foot flag on the back of my truck or motorcycle or car, whatever I'm driving, this is why are you in the left lane? But you know, What do you do? What do you do? I can't drive with one vehicle at a time. Right? Just one. And I shouldn't even be driving that one. I should have Jesus driving that vehicle. Because then I can just ride. Right? And when the devil pulls out in front of me and tries to knock us in the ditch, we're not going in the ditch. I don't care if he hits us. I know we're not going in the ditch if he's driving. Right? I mean, I don't know how that works, but God is, you're not going to beat him. It ain't going to happen. Verse 5, doth not behave itself unseemingly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in truth. Who is the truth? Jesus. Jesus is the truth. And Jesus is the Word of God, correct? Mm. He is the Word. <laughs> Verse 8, charity never faileth, but where there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. Hmm. You think God's looking for perfection? Amen. You think he can find it? He can find it in the people that aren't driving. <laughs> you hear me? Listen, Jesus bragged about this fellow Job, didn't he? What did he say? He says, have you seen my boy down there? Have you seen him? There's nobody like him, right? God wants to say that same thing about his church. When he has his church all marching as one man, he has that again. Just like he had in Job. What did Job say? Though he slay me, right? Hello. You think Job was all in? You think you think he was a hundred percent? I mean the the devil used his own wife to try to drive into him. And that poor girl gets a bad rap. She lost all her children, too. Don't forget that for a moment. But I think in that, we ought to see that we are speaking the very words of God or the very words of the enemy. We're all in or we're not in. I'm not trying to say that to scare anybody. I don't mean that you're not saved, okay? Please don't hear me wrong. 
I'm talking about victorious living. I'm talking about sanctification. Do you hear me? Because we're all justified. We're all justified in Jesus Christ. Every person on this planet is justified in Jesus Christ. Okay? But it's in cherishing that justification that you become <coughs> sanctified. I try to make that as simple as possible because I think too many people make it difficult. When I was a child, I spake as a child. When I understood as a child, I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even also as I am known. I'm going to close with this. If you'll turn to John chapter 1. John chapter 1. I'm going to begin in verse 12. But as many as received him, you hear that? But as many as received him, to them gave he power. What is power? Power in the Bible is a right, right? Or a privilege. He gave them a right or a privilege to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. In verse 14, And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. And we beheld His glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Closing song will be 189.